So the problem is people pick what they think they want and then after the fact they change their mind as far as what system is the best. So one thing is using like a tile system. So this is a newer type system that we use. It's called a Schluter uh, board. It's actually considered water resistant so you don't have to do the membranes except at the joints. You can see there they're starting to membrane it in. A lot of people use Durock and some people put it right on to uh, actual drywall. So this is the most water resistant system to use. It's easier to work with because it's lightweight. Uh, it's just a tad bit more material, but what you save in uh, material you make up for on the labor. The most common practice is Durock, which is pretty good, but uh, it can leak at different points. And then obviously drywalls the cheapest uh, option to do and it's a little easier to work with than Durock, but eventually you can have problems with failure. So uh, it's really understanding what system to use and why you're using it is something you want to consider uh, when you're developing a system and kind of following through. The other thing that's nice with these is the floor system here. It's all pre-pitched. So when you use uh, Durock, people tend to float the floor with a concrete sub base and you have to make the pitch just right or it comes out wavy this is 100 percent engineered and does the pitch perfect right into your drain so you don't have it eliminates that 100 percent uh, from a waviness standpoint so until next week we'll catch you back at blueprint flipping thank you